Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good. Please let me know if you have any problem. Uh, today our topic is very simple. It's about understanding Quran and Islam. You know, Islam is one of the most confusion or confusing religion or cult. And to the point even the followers, they don't understand anything. <clears throat> I mean, in the picture you see those people are lined up to pray. But they don't know anything really about their religion not only them those like normal people average people do not know even the scholars do not know anything about Islam my Skype is open <clears throat> my Skype is open if there is any Muslim wanna prove me wrong that he knew his Islam and guess what <clears throat> I'm not going to ask you the question you tell me what to ask you and let us see how ready you are like you can do the same as those Mimi and Fifi who claim they can debate and, you know, in fact, they, don't, they cannot. They need to prepare for a topic and usually they, they only debate Christians about the Trinity. That's it, you know. And when they spoke, they, don't, they know nothing about our belief. They know nothing about their belief. So we hope today <clears throat> we will find a Muhammadan who knows something about his religion call me please my skype is open and you tell me the question i shall ask you about your belief please just maintain your tongue don't use bad language otherwise we have to hang up on you all right then give us a chance to talk with you not just you talk you see the funny about islam is that muhammad himself the founder of islam he do not understand islam and the reason for that, Muhammad is an aftermarket person, which means he himself, not only he did not uh, learn anything about, I mean, he have no education. Even the Muslim, they say he is illiterate. Even the Muslim, they say he is illiterate. Now, how somebody is illiterate is going to teach those, uh, me and you, or Muslims, or whoever, about God. You see, literacy, <clears throat> if you ask the Muslims, where, where, where in the Quran it says Muhammad is illiterate, they say to you, oh, we can show you, and for sure, those supposedly who did some study, they say it says in the Quran that Muhammad is Ummi. Okay. And Ummi mean illiterate. <clears throat> hmm. Are you sure? They say yes. Don't <clears throat> don't touch the mic. It's disturbing. Is the sound is too too strong, guys? <clears throat> is the sound too strong? Let me lower the. <clears throat> okay, I did lower the volume. I hope it's good now. Okay, <clears throat> I just changed the volume. Tell me if this is change will do anything bad. Let me know. You know, it take like maybe thirty seconds for you to receive the voice. <clears throat> so, was Muhammad really illiterate? All Muslims they say Muhammad is illiterate. How you how you get that? Where you get this from? I mean, those people they are ignorant about their cult to the point they do not know. Where it says Muhammad is illiterate, I want to see it. Who is a Muslim want to show me where Muhammad is illiterate? Hmm? No sound now. <coughs> really. Well, I don't think so. I think you have to read refresh. Refresh, guys. Anytime you lose a sound, refresh. This is from YouTube, not from my side. Islam is bees saying, if money is your problem, 
I cannot, I can understand why you are doing this. Thank you, Mr. Islam. Guys, finally, we found a Muslim. He understand why I'm doing this. He finally, he understand. I'm really, I'm so, I'm so glad that you are full of understanding. If money is your problem, my friend, do you see me begging for money, asking people to, you know, what's wrong with you? Secondly, obviously, Islam is the problem. And here, and the problem of Islam is money. As long as you are the one who opened the topic, isn't it true that your prophet he refused to meet people unless they pay him money? First, do you see me asking you to pay me to speak to me? It's a free YouTube. Who is the one who is after money? If you are trying to make me look bad, you did not succeed. Right? <clears throat> You did not. You look silly and you look stupid because the one who begged for money is your prophet. To the point he said, you cannot meet me, you should not meet me unless you give a charity. Charity to who? To Muhammad. Okay, what Muhammad will do with it? You will tell me he will give it to the poor. Well, he can say, just give it to the poor. If you want to meet the prophet in a, in a private, huh? You have to pay him first. My friend, you don't have to pay Christian Prince. It's for free. You can call me. You can talk to me. I will give you all the time and no charge. Guaranteed. But in the case of your, priv your private consultor, Muhammad, in order to meet him, you have to pay him. Can you explain to us how this is happening? He changed the topic now. He don't want to talk about money no more. He's saying, are you afraid of Jahannam? This is another stupid thing your prophet he came with. How Jahannam became in the book of Muhammad. Jahannam is where they burned garbage in an area in Jerusalem. How that became the where the place where is going to be the place of hellfire. And this is mentioned in the Bible. How this is in to be in the Quran. Here we go. You get yourself in trouble. How the word Jahannam, the place of burning garbage, you know, in Jerusalem, there is a place where garbage always is burned. It's a city. And because there is garbage always burned, the fire is always on. How Muhammad, he took it and he make it Jahannam, the place of hell in the Quran. And how Jahannam, the Quran says this is a, this is a pure Arabic book. If we ask a Muhammadan what the word Jahannam mean, is it Arabic word? The answer no, for sure. This is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. He claimed that this book is a pure Arabic book, but nothing in the Arabic book is Arabic. If we go in the Quran, you see they are trying, we have to jump. When you talk to Muslim, you jump like a monkey from place to place because he, he changed the branch right away. So you have to be like a mon monkey uh, uh, and you jump from place to place to follow. Hmm? <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran claimed that this is a pure Arabic book. Okay. And we send it as a, and not only that, in chapter 26, verse number 25, it says a pure. In chapter 41, it says two, it says a pure Arabic. What is the pure Arabic? Chapter 39, verse number 28, pure Arabic. Well, how it's a pure Arabic and Jahannam is not Arabic word. And why Allah, he called the place of hell by a word is not Arabic. Why, why he chose that language? What language is the word Jahannam coming from? And then now they feel they have no idea what they believe in. This is an Arabic Quran without any crookedness. The fact, the Quran, all of it is a crookedness. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim with that to call us? Because it is the book of a crookedness, they cannot answer they cannot understand they cannot say anything
Do we have any Muslim? Can you please show the hadith about he talk about capturing Rome and blonde women? Yeah, you know we can show it, no problem. But we better get Muslims, my friend, so we can uh, <clears throat> we can get things exciting, right? And Muhammadan. All right, there we will show you the page where it says that. Attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. <clears throat> what a great prophet! What a great prophet! We can show this in many books, but we will we will choose an official website. Uh, this website is official, but the problem with this website, the text is so. I mean, they they choose the. I I don't like this is kind of a style of website. They made the a text not you know not easy to read, especially in the screen for people who they want to read in video. So anyway. <clears throat> Uh, this is Tafsir at Tabari. Let me let me find different uh, website. Hold on. The layout of this website is horrible. And here you need to ask yourself a very simple question. <clears throat> What kind of a prophet he say and he encourage his people to attack other nation just for the sake of having, you know, blonde women in their bed to rape them? Hmm? Let us see. All right, this is an official website, and the text look a lot better than the first one. <clears throat> For sure, you guys didn't speak Arabic, so I'm going to use uh, the miraculous Google translation, which is fine. I mean, it does the job. So this is. Uh, At-Tabari, Tafsir At-Tabari. This is an Islamic website, as you see. Uh, and uh, page number, according to the website, 14, the chapter, uh, volume 14, page number 287, as you see. So now we will click and we will translate what it says in the front of us for those who don't speak Arabic. It says here, that the Prophet of Allah, he says, إِغْزُوا تَغْنَمُوا بَنَاتَ الْأَصْفَرِ يعني نساء الروم إِغْزُوا This is what we need. Translation. <coughs> Read carefully. Uh, Muhammad, he wanna go and attack Tabuk. And at that time, the Roman was in the border of the area of Tabuk. So Muhammad, he was saying to his people, go with us, go in the attack, so you can fornicate and you can rape the daughter of the yellow. Daughter of the yellow is a, is a term used by the Arab at that time for the blonde people. The daughter of the yellow, meaning the Roman, the Roman women, do you see it? One of the men's there, he says, don't, don't tempt us with women. Don't tempt us with women. So Muhammad is doing what? He is tempting them with women. 
how that can be a prophet of God. How we can accept Muhammad to be a prophet of God, yet he is encouraging people to go in war, killing each other, slaughtering themselves, slaughtering the enemy, shedding blood for the sake of what? Get the blondy women. I see a Muhammadan saying, stop lying, why you don't call me and you read it yourself? Why you don't call me and get me busted? Maybe, maybe you are right. Maybe I'm, maybe Christian Prince is lying. So who is the Muslim gonna call us and show us if I'm lying or not? Does it say that attack the Roman, get the blondie girls, or Christian Prince is making things up? Anyone? So the reason for the jihad for the Muslims in the early Islam was not really for the sake of Allah, it was for private parts, white women, blonde women, as simple as that. And when a Muslim man, he said to Muhammad, don't tempt us with women, Muhammad, he called him hypocrite. Supposedly that guy is the hypocrite, not Muhammad. <laughs> you believe it? When the man, he said to Muhammad, don't tempt us with women. Muhammad, he made a verse claiming that Allah, he sent it supposedly as usual. Saying that this man is a hypocrite. <clears throat> you know? Why? Why this man is a hypocrite? He is saying to you, why you are seducing us by women? So Muhammad got busted. There is a one person, he is decent between the Muslims. He said to him, why you are tempt us with women? Why you are taking us into war for the sake of women? Hmm? Any Muslim? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Who is a Muhammadan in the bushes would like to call us and prove us wrong? And we will make you read even the verse from the Quran, so you will not, you know, we will have the reference, we have the interpretation, we have the Quran, we have everything you need. Hmm? Any, uh, any Muhammadan? And as long Mimi Hijab, he told them Christian Prince, you do not know Arabic. Okay, well, you will win anyway. You can just call me, says, silence me, answer me. And then I will not be able to answer you and I will not be able to read Arabic. Any Muhammadan? وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ إِئْذَنْ لِي وَلَا تَفْتِنِّي Okay, what does that mean? Excuse me. Excuse me. Keep me away from the jihad because you are putting us in a trial. What a, what a trial of women. And if you don't believe me, we can go and read the interpretation and we will laugh together. The one who is saying to Muhammad, excuse me, I'm not going to go for war by tempting me by for women. Is a Muslim. He's not a Jew. You can't say, oh, this is a Christian prince saying that. He's a Muslim who was going jihad. He did jihad many times with Muhammad. What do you say? They are believe in anything you say. Your truth is so okay. Look, guys, look at the truth seeker. Just to show you the disability of the Muhammad and when it's come to the truth. Look what he's saying. Truth seeker. And the funny his name is Truth Seeker. You are only fooling your mission. Um, um, what what? Minos? They will believe in anything you say. 
It was actually the excuse of the hypocrite men who did not want to go to war with the Roman. Well, thank you very much. So you just confirm what I said. Muhammad, he said that those who they are, who say that they are hypocrite, but what they say, they said, excuse me, don't, don't tempt me by women. And how they are hypocrite and they are Muslims. That's mean Muhammad, he was forcing people into Islam. And now we have hypocrite Muslims because in order to be a hypocrite and you are a Muslim and you converted to Islam, obviously you don't believe. Right? <clears throat> I guess we have a, a believer. Hello? Hello? Hello, is this Christian Prince? Yes, this is me, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Um... I saw you were complaining about um, about Muhammad tempting um, his his soldiers with a woman, but in your Bible in Numbers chapter thirty one mm. verse um, seventeen about the spells of war, they killed every every man, every child, male, every child, and um, mm. they shared the um, spells of sixteen thousand. Virgin girls of 32, we had a lot here in Numbers 31 40. Mm. And so, th did they go for war because they want to get the women, or they go for war because they are in war with those people who they are pagan, like your prophet? Yes, but in the end, it's the same thing. They're going to no, 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 who did lead those people, he tell them, attack those people because of women, we want to get blonde women, or they are attacking them because they are enemies here. What we see your prophet is saying, fight those people so you can get the blonde girls. He is not saying fight those people for the sake of Allah. He is not saying fight those people because they are our enemies. He is not saying they are attacking us, we have to attack them back. He is saying fight them so we can get the blonde girls. Explain your mind. The same thing. The same thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand you, my friend. Explain what what kind what kind of a prophet? You see, the result of the war, they took they took the prisoner of the war. Correct? Okay, no problem. Now you're a prophet. He did not go to war yet, and yet he is promising his men that if you go for war, don't you want to get the blondie girls? So the reason for him to go in war is to get blondie women. Yes, don't you want to get this shit? He's fascinating them. He's telling them what they will benefit from it. I don't understand. As I say again, please, your your voice is not clear for me. What you are saying? Um, he's he's still telling them what they are going to benefit from it. Oh, so the, the same okay. So guys, uh, 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 what's, what's your what's your okay, you, my friend? What's your what's your name so I can speak to you? What's your name? Um, it's uh, it's inspired as um Osman. Osman, okay, Osman. So, guys, the prophet he was telling them the benefit of this war. So, the benefit of this war is not to spread Islam. The benefit of this war is not to fight for the sake of Allah. The benefit of this war is to get the blondie women. So, now the benefit of war became explained by our friend here who called us from Pakistan to explain to us that the benefit of war with, between Muslims and the Christians that we Muslims, if we attack you, we can get the blondie girls. Thank you. Yes, that's it. In the end, that's the benefit. He's just telling them the benefit of it. Hmm. So this is the benefit. So 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 we can understand from you that all the wars Muhammad he did, the benefit is about private part of women, money and sex. This is the benefit. So you Muslim, you don't go to jihad for the sake of Allah. You do no. jihad just to just to rape that's, women. That's what they're gonna gain from it. He's huh? doing it to spread Islam, but that's 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 just the gain of it. That's what they're gonna gain. Okay, so if I now I make a speech saying let us at, let us attack the Muslims so we can get the, the the Muslim girls, is that is that right? Is that ethical? No, he didn't say that. He said he's just telling them the benefit. No, no, no. He said that you you just agree. You agreed, my friend. You agreed. You said this is the benefit. He told them that you agreed with it. So I'm saying to you, if I say now to the Christians, hey guys, listen, listen, listen. If I say, if I say. I want you to be honest. If I say now to the Christians, let us have an army and you know go and we we'll have war so we can get uh, the Mohammedan women, is that uh, is that something nice for you? Is that something ethical? Well, I 
I don't have Iran have any problem with that. What do you mean you have no answer? I'm asking you, let us say I am a leader. No, I want an answer. I want an answer. Let us say I am a leader. I'm explaining to my soldiers that I have a benefit for you. Let us attack the you know those people who they are Muslim supposedly get their women. So is that a benefit? Is that is that accepted benefit or this is an evil benefit? No, 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 this is no, this the Moses did not tell them the same thing. Moses, he tell them like they go in war and this is what happened. Okay, those are, you know, the, the enemy, they used to take the Jews as a prisoner of war. The whole nation of Israel when taken as a slavery, the whole nation, twice, one by the, the Babylon and one, one by, uh, uh, let us see, somebody calling. Hello. One by the Babylon and one by the, the Assyrians. So now you, prophet, he is, you know, the, the Roman did not attack him. And the Roman, they did not say, go, let us attack the Arab and get their girls. And the Roman, they did not say, let us attack Muhammad and get Aisha. It is Muhammad saying to the king of the Roman, I want to go attack you to I can rape your women. So what kind of a prophet he is? Go ahead. Okay, look like you have no answer. So let me ask you. I will take. Uh, okay, I will. I will take the benefit of your calling and ask you a very simple question. What is what 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 is the proof that Islam is from God? What is the proof? Yes, we have the Quran. It is proof. What the is, Quran is all. okay? Prove it to me. I, I'm I'm listening to you. I will give you all the time. Like tell me, tell me. What like what? The Quran is the proof. Like what? Like it. Can I provide anything like it? Very easy. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Surah like it. Surah like it. Surah nineteen. What about Surah nineteen? I don't understand. Okay. Listen. I'm going to say. I'm going to say now a verse. I will. I will create this verse for me. You tell me if you accept it. ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا. I made Quran. Do you accept it or not? Yeah. Do you accept the Quran I just gave you? I'm trying. I'm trying to um. What you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Let me say it to you again. I just made Quran. You made a challenge for me to make Quran. I want you to tell me. Do you accept the Quran which I just made, created for you? ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا. Do you accept the Quran I made? Which one is better, my Quran or Allah Quran? Um, yeah. Can you please share it to me in English, please? Sorry. Can you please share it to me in English? Well, you are the one who said to me make Quran, and you are asking me to make it in English. The Quran is in Arabic. So I have to make Quran in Arabic. So I'm asking you now, is the Quran I made better than the Quran of Allah? You have to admit it's better. What do you think? Ew, I can't hear. I can't give you a scene. What? Um, I can't, I can't, I, I don't get you. I don't get you. Okay. You said to me, can you make Quran like it? And I said, okay, I will make Quran like it. Here we go. ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا. My Quran is better than Allah Quran. What do you say? Yeah, what is that? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't prove anything. Well, you asked me to. Uh, you, you asked me. You said to me, make Quran like it. I made Quran like it. And you and now you and now and now you are saying, huh? Produce a surah like it. I just did. ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا. Do surah mean bus? I made a, I just made a verse and chapter for you. What do you want? Here we go. I made Quran. What What do you think about my Quran? Is it bad or good? Wait, wait, let me, let me, I, I can't get you. Let me put you. What do you mean you cannot get me? Yeah, can you please show it to me? I can't, I can't get you. Okay, my friend, you asked me to make Quran, right? You said if you can you make Quran yeah. like it? Okay. So I said to you, okay. I'm going to make Quran, no problem. I will read the Quran for you, which I made. 
ثُمَّ فِي سَلْسِلَ ذِرَاعُهَا سَبْعُونَ ذِرَاعًا فَأَسْلِكُوا Can Allah make Qur'an like my Qur'an? What do you think about my Qur'an? What does that mean? I will put a chain in your, excuse me, not you, in your anus. And the length of it is 70 cubits. I don't understand what you're saying. What does that mean? I just told you I will put a chain in somebody's anus and it's going to be 70 arm long. Can Allah make Quran like my Quran? How beautiful. Yeah, yeah that's not civilized. This is not civilized, right? And so you are saying this is about Quran. Yeah, what did you just say? I just say to you. I will put yeah. a chain in the anus of somebody and the length of it is 70 arm ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا and you said this is yeah, not civilized not. and this is yeah, but, is, but is it good uh, like the Quran or better than the Quran you have to admit this is better than the Quran no it's not better it's not better are you sure yeah okay well this is Quran my friend what I just read for you this is from the Quran this is not my words and this is the verse I will put it for you in the screen. Here we go. This is a chapter 69, chapter 69, verse number 32. Thumma fi silsilatin dhira'uha sab'una dhira'an fa'asliku. And you admitted that this is not a good Quran. And this is not civilized. And it's not equal to the Quran. And it's not like the Quran. What verse is it? This is a chapter 69, verse number 32. Hmm. Yes, if we insert into him, but does it say the inus? It, it says that. Okay, you tell me what it says. I, it doesn't matter if there's. I just said to you, I read through you the Arabic, and I ask you, is that good? You said no. Now read the interpretation. It says Allah will insert in your anus a, 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 a chain of seventy cubit. And is going to go from your nose, come out all the way from go from your anus, go all the way from your nose. And you say this is the bad Quran. This is not Quran, but this is Quran. So look what happened. You, 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 as a Pakistani person who do not know the difference between A and B, because whatever people say to you in Arabic and it's supposed to you challenge me to make Quran, and you thought really this is Quran I made. So you said it's bad, it's ugly, it's not good, it's not civilized. Okay, so now this is Quran, what you will do. So Islam is a stupid for you, suddenly, and you got your prophet busted. Now, do you want me to show you the okay, interpretation? Okay, but does that, does it, is it in the Quran that, um, that you inserted in there? Does it say it in the Quran? Yes, this is what the Quran, is, this is what the Quran, my friend, yes, what, this is what the Quran is saying. If you don't believe me, let us read the interpretation. The Quran is saying, ثم في سلسلة, and then get a chain, huh? and Insert it inside him, inside him, or where inside him. Let us go and see the interpretation. Shall we? Can we do that? Is that okay for you? Okay, let us go and see the interpretation, guys. Here we go. Our friend here, he's saying, where well, it says that, that uh, Allah will insert six, uh, you know, like a long chain in the anus of a, a, a Muhammadan or Kuffar or etc. The funny, even the chapter number is 69. Very funny. All right. <clears throat> This is a chapter 69. I will put it for you in the screen. And you tell me if a Christian prince is making things up. Maybe he's making things up. You never know. You know, we will see in a second. But you admit that this is not this is a this is not good. All right. Here we go. Are you there? Maybe he's busy trying to get my IP. Are you there, my friend? Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Okay. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. I will put it for you in the screen. <clears throat> and let us see what it says. And fast in him, which means tie him up. All right? Tie him up. And what else? Let us be sure that people can see the whole image. Okay, fasten him in the chain where for, where off, 
the length of 70 cubits uh, carb al ahbar said every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of the iron found in this world brother okay al wafi reported from ibn abbas from ibn juraj both said each cubit will be the form for arm length which mean like this is like a mile or something you know uh, or 70 miles sorry i think uh, of an angel mm. mean this big huge and it will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out from his mouth here we go what do you think can you please show me the other interpretation here we go this is i will post uh, uh, do you, can you see the chat i will post the link for ibn kathir in the chat so you can read it in your side no problem my friend can you show it to me the other interpretations please i just showed you it's in the screen <clears throat> Yeah, the other, the other interpretations apart from Ibn Kathir. Why, why, why we need to jump from a place to a place? Like, I mean, was that going to make a difference? Are you saying to me Muslims who don't understand the Quran, proving my point that every Muslim have yeah, different interpretations? Yeah, different. It has okay. the Quran has different interpretations. We just want to see what it means. Thank you, the, guys. Um, did, okay, guys, did you okay, see the Quran have different interpretation? This means that Muslims don't agree about the Quran meaning, so everybody have his own meaning. This is Shish Kebab Hummus Falafel religion. Every scholar he have different interpretation, but it's the same God, the same book. So why every every one of you have different interpretation? Can you tell me, please? Yes. What? Can you can you just please share it to me? This is what I want. I I'm, want to I'm showing. This is this is Ibn Kathir. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir. What what do you want me to do? Can you show me the inter other interpretations, please. Well, there is tons of interpretation, but the problem we need to find it to you in English, right? Correct. We should, do you speak Arabic? No. There's millions of interpretation we can show you, no problem. But the problem we have here is you. You don't speak Arabic, so now we are stuck with the English ones. And by the way, even this translation here is not accurate. It's more ugly in English. <clears throat> I'm trying to open the, the King of Saudi Arabia, uh, the, sorry, the King of Jordan website. They have other translation in, in English. Maybe we can share it with you. All right. But for now, as you see, you are the one who said this is not civilized and you are the one who said this is not a good Quran and this is Quran it's a 100% Quran so what we will do now the interpretation but is it, in, is, it in the, is it in the book no it has different it has different interpretations in it okay give me the interpretation go ahead I'm listening to you here we go you see whatever you, you say me, though, my, my friend my friend you are the Muslim I am the Christian give me the interpretation I will accept it go ahead Can you just please show it to me on screen, please? What? Show it to me on screen, please. It's in the screen already. <clears throat> what is the interpretation for this verse? Chapter 69, verse number 32. Yeah, verse number? 32. If you don't like Ibn Kathir, I found one more interpretation from the cousin of Muhammad. I think this is better. He is higher than Ibn Kathir, way by, by higher. This is Ibn Abbas. Abba, Ibn Abbas is a very cute person, you know. And he look, he, this is the website of the King of Jordan. So this is official government website. And this is the book of Ibn Abbas. He is saying, not me, my friend, Mr. Uthman. And then insert him in a chain. Insert the chain in his anus. And extract it from his mouth do you see it and the link of this uh, uh, thing is uh, 70 uh, fatoms do you see it yeah these are the punishments of the hellfire thank you very much but Obviously, you are the one who said very, um, okay but you are the one who very, said this is like, serious but you are the one who said the you, you, you are the like, one but, okay my friend my friend my, my friend my friend you are the one who said this is not not Quran this is not good and this is not civilized now what kind of god he will insert in the anus of a human being to torture him a chain did you did your god he used to watch netflix uh, horror movies what is this i mean what kind of god he want to insert a chain in your anus and take it and this chain every ring of it have more iron than all the iron in the world 
Yes, um, this 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 is the punishment of the hellfire. Like, okay, a question: How he can insert? Okay, Os- Osman. Hellfire. We just have to understand. Osman, my friend, how you yeah. can put an, a chain? Every ring of it have more iron and all uh, more than all the world in a small anus. How you can do that? Is that a miracle thing? You think? Obviously, God can do everything. Mm. And God will do it by His finger or by His nose. Hmm? Maybe this is why Allah he, cre <coughs> he created anus for because he will use it later for uh... Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You know what? Forget about this one. This one was not good for you, was not good for Allah. We got him busted. So, let us give you another chance. Give me any proof you wish. That Islam is a religion from the true God. Forget about the 70. Uh, and you know, actually, if you see here, it says that, brother, if one, this is how big this chain is, if one little tiny piece of this chain, if a drop, a drop of lead like this, pointed in the skull of a bone, will center from the heaven to the earth, and its distance of 500 years, this is how heavy it is. Okay, very, very scary. Now I am scared because I don't want something to happen to my anus. And you know what? I'm going to convert to Islam to save my anus. I mean, now this is explained why somebody says in English, save his ass. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay, so now, Osman, I'm giving you opportunity to prove us wrong again. What is the proof that Islam is from the true God? If there is any way you can prove us you can give us some details which is amazing something very very powerful so those christians who they are listening you know we have like a thousand christian at least listening i don't know how many muslim <clears throat> obviously like if it's if it's to fish out anything that you think is bad in the quran I can also do that no my friend i'm not saying that my friend i'm asking you to give me something good forget about the bad stuff in the quran because if we if we elect the bad stuff in the quran nothing left in the quran so i'm asking you as a muslim can you give me something to prove to the christians what is the how how we can assure that this book is called the quran is from a god his name is allah if if this yes. quran have a proof then you are right huh? if you see it's plagiarized, plagiarized or anything just produce a surah like it I, I just did I, I just did and you and you said and you said you don't like it it's a bad Quran but then it turned to be a Quran okay let me ask you okay 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 let me ask you is the Quran all of it is the Quran all of it made by Allah yes all of it is from from Allah okay what if I show you that this is not a true what you will do what 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 can I do what you will do you will leave Islam because the Quran itself, the Quran itself contain the word of other people, not only Allah as an example. If I show you now that the, the one who made Quran, like the Quran of Allah is shaitan, what you would do? No, no, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it contains everything, everything from Allah. Okay, let us see if this is from Allah or from shaitan. Okay, okay, let us see, let us see my friend, here we go. Uh, you know, yes, here yes. we go. Chapter yes. 7, oh, chapter yeah. 7, my friend, read with me. Chapter 7, yes. verse number 12. Allah said, What prevented you from prostrating as I command you? Okay. This is Allah said, right? Yeah. Then you will see here, it says, uh, Hence, he said, Qala fabima aghwaytani. Okay, who is who is the one is talking here? Is Allah? Do you think this is Allah talking? Yeah, I'm not. I, I didn't say. I said all is from Allah. What is the content of the Quran? Not just okay. The words. But the one is talking here is Shaitan. Yes, the content, everything in multiple terms. No problem. Terms, okay, so terms. how you say to me nobody can make Quran but Allah? But the one here, this is the words of Shaitan. Shaitan, he said. Shaitan is. The, the one who said that to me, let me change the translation so you will see in different translator he will say that the, who is Allah it? No, no, my friend, my friend, I'm asking you, is it is it the shaitan here is talking? 
So Shaitan he made Quran in the Quran because here if if Shaitan did not say that, that's mean Allah is a liar. Who is the one who said Iblis? Here we go. In this translation, they are making it to, clear to you. Iblis said, because you have sent me astray. Okay, who is the one who is talking Shaitan? So how Allah he says nobody can make Quran like my Quran, and Shaitan is the one who is speaking in the Quran. Yeah, Allah is telling us what Shaitan said. He's the one that my friend Allah telling us what Shaitan said, okay. correct? Okay. Yes, Allah right, yes. uh, my friend, Allah told us what Shaitan said, but what Shaitan said is Quran. How is it? How is it Quran? It's Quran, it's a verse, it's a, it's a verse in the Quran. My friend, is, okay, is this verse, my friend, is this verse, is, it, is this verse, did you call this statement here a verse? Do you call it verse? What? Here, where, where Iblis, he said, because you have, you have sent me astray. Is that, you call it a verse? Is that a verse? Yeah, it's Allah, from Allah, Allah is telling us what Shaitan said. No, it's not Allah telling us, it is Shaitan, Shaitan is talking. Shaitan said Okay, let me, let me for example in your Bible in your Bible When when Shaitan was talking to Jesus when he tempted You see him, in my I Bible in my Bible we don't so, say to you see, that can you make see, my friend my friend in my Bible We don't say to you can you make a verse like this? We don't say that that is stupid it is you, my, my friend, my friend, it is you who's saying, can you make a verse like this? Can you make Quran like this? But the one is talking is Shaitan. So now Quran is made by Shaitan. Quran made by Allah. Ayat means verse. The surah means verse. Surah means chapter. Surah means chapter? First of all, your prophet, he never he never delivered surah. Your prophet, he delivered verses. And then by time, Muslims, they put them and they give them names. What surahs? Obviously, all... all Better, better surahs, obviously, he will, he will do that, obviously, like, like... Well, this is a surah, here we go, this is a surah, this is a, this is a surah, the surah, the surah, can you find me a surah, only Allah is talking there, so we can make a surah only from Allah? I will show you, I will show you a surah, hold on, hold on, I will show you a surah, which people will love, here we go, this is a surah, only Allah is talking, Allah only is talking, okay. You like you, you, you like al-ikhlas? You like al-ikhlas? Okay, here we go. This is one of the verses proving that the one who made the Quran cannot be Allah. Let us see. Al-ikhlas. Let us see and go and laugh. Let me ask you. Verse number two. It says Allahu Samad. What Samad mean? The eternal. Eternal, why here in the translation they say something different? Yeah, I can't speak Arabic. I already know the translation. Well, it doesn't matter. All the, uh, you see, you just uh, you agreed just 15 minutes ago that Muslims disagree about the interpretation of the Quran. Thank you very much. So, as Samad, every Muslim have different interpretation for it. I will tell you why. Because this is not an Arabic word. It's a theft. So, Muhammad, he put it in the Quran. He do not know what it is mean. As Samad, it's a collection. So, if Allah is one, how he is a collection? You see, in Arabic we say masmuda, which is coming from the Aramaic word masmuda, masmuda, or samad al mal, which means he collected the mal, the, the money. So this is a samad, the collect, you know, collection. It's a, it's a group. It's not one. So qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is one off. He is a samad. He is a collection. So how Allah yeah, is the, one? So look, look at you. The, look at the, you. You, the, you said, you said, you said this is a verse from Allah. This is not verse from Allah. This is a verse from the Jews. The Jews say, say that your God is one. But one here is Echad. So Muhammad, he stole the word exactly as it is. So he said, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Echad. Say that God is Echad. Echad is not one as number. It is a unity. This is why the Bible says that the man and the women, they will leave their family, their parents, and they will become Echad. But they are two. But yet the Bible says they will become Echad, which means what? United as one. But they are not one. As numbers, so Muhammad he stole from the Old Testament. Say that your Lord is one, is Echad, one and, and he put it in the Quran. Yeah, he is the one and only. What do you mean he's the only? He's no, you just no, you, you no, my friend, no, my friend, my friend. No, you just a proof. You just a pro you just prove that Quran is a false book because Echad is not one. Echad is one as unity. Is not one, not one person. 
This is what Echad mean. I just gave you a verse from the Bible where it says that the man and the women they get married and they became Echad. That it's not one person, they are two person. So when you say to me what the Jews they say, you admitted that the God of Islam cannot be a like a God as you claim. He is one he is one person of, of other person. One, one, one has different meanings. One can mean togetherness and one can also mean a number. No, my friend. Ahad is not a number. <clears throat> Ahad is not a number. Ahad yeah. is a... No. I'll, 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 I'll prove it to you. What is the first day in Arabic? <clears throat> the first word? What is the first day in the in the week in Arabic? Well, I don't know. I don't know Arabic. Well, yeah, okay. Okay, I want you to read this in the screen. This is your prophet speaking. Allah, he created Sabbath, sorry, created the, 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 the dust in, in Saturday. Is that correct? The dust in? In Saturday, Sabbath. Okay. And he created the mountains in Sunday. What the word Sunday in Arabic? In Arabic, I don't know what it is. I can't speak. It, is, it is Ahad. <laughs> Ahad. The word Sunday is Ahad. So, according to your understanding, say that Allah is Ahad, say that He is Sunday. No, but this is, this is what it's meant. It's not Allah is Sunday. It's Allah is one of many days. So, Allah is one of seven days in the week. And that, that day is Ahad. Yeah, but this is this whole the whole verse is one and only. Okay, thank you. So now we are we are saying that Allah is one day out of many days. So as long as out of many, it's mean he's not the only one. There's many, there, there is the week have seven days. So say Allah is Ahad. Okay, he's not Monday. He's not a Tuesday. He's not Thursday. He is Ahad. Yes, the verse is Allah is the one and only. No, no, it doesn't say he cannot be one only because Ahad is one of many days. So when I say Ahad, it means one of. You see, if you go all over the Quran, you will see the word Ahad always translated as one of. If I go right now in the Quran and I search <clears throat> for the word Ahad, what I will find? All the Muslim translation, they translate the word Ahad as one of. Yeah, um, that letter that you just highlighted, isn't that Ahad? Mm. So okay, so I have mean one off. It's not. It doesn't mean one. You have to be one off of many. L let, let me ask. Yes, okay, only. okay. The verse is the one and only. What verse only? There's nothing where it says only. What is the word only? Where? Where it says only? What only? Where do you get the word only from? Okay, go to go to the translation. What translation? This 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 is a stupid translation. You are yourself. You don't agree with it. You are the one who said to me, even the interpretation, Muslims disagree about interpretation. This and, and this is the title of our video. Why Muslims do not understand the Quran? Why they have different, a, a huge different interpretation? Because the Quran is a stupid book. As simple as that. Let me ask you, do Allah have a wife? <clears throat> no, Allah doesn't have a wife. He's the one and only. Okay. What if I show you that Allah, he said, if you want to take a wife, he will take, he will take it from ourselves. What you will do? Yes, because he said he said if, if he was to take, make a diversion, he would take from his um from what he made in heaven. No, 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 no. He said ourselves. No, 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 no. He said from ourselves. He did not say from what what we made in ourselves, right? He said that. Let's be honest. We from will take it. We will, we, we will take it. We will take it from ourselves. Did he say that? Chapter twenty one, verse number seventeen. Did he say we will take it from ourselves? Yeah, isn't allowed with his India. Thank you very much. So ourself, when I say myself, I'm talking about me. And to be ourself, that's mean I am and Allah is the same. So you are saying to me that Allah in the Quran, he's saying, if he'd like to take a son or a wife or a woman for belly dancing, he would take it surely from ourself, from our from us. Okay, us who if Allah says that me and him is us, that's mean he is a human like me. How I can be, no. how I can be under the word us, I'm a human, the woman is a human. How Allah, he says, if you want to take a partner for bed, the bedroom, he will take it from us. Okay, in, wait, let's just see, in your, in your Bible, Jesus said, I am the Father and one, does it mean that like God is also a human being? Jesus, said, Jesus, Jesus said what? <clears throat> 
when he said I am the father, I want in John ten thirty. Does that mean he said I am? I, am, I, am I don't understand. I am what? Again, a story, please. I am what? He said I am what? He said I am the father. I want in John ten thirty. I am. I am a uh, story. I am what? He said I am the father. I want. A one? What one? Ah, me and the father is one. Okay. Me and the father is... It's not up to you to explain it myself. It's clear. Me and the father is one. Yes, it's meant that I am and the father. We are one God. One God. But like in John 10, 29... The don't don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change Don't change topic. No. Because first of all, the whole Bible the whole Bible is speaking about Jesus as being God. And Jesus, he mentioned that many times. Can you say me and the God is one? Can you say that? Can Muhammad say me and Allah is one? Jesus never equated himself. No, 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 he did. No, 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 he did. He said, me, you are the one who called the verse for me. The one who saw me, he saw the father. You you are the one who said that to me. Can Muhammad say the one who saw me, he saw Allah? John 14, 28, says, my father is greater than him. No problem, he is greater than him. No problem, he is greater than him. You see, it's very easy to, to explain. He is greater than him because he is coming in the shape of a human being in the in the earth. He is he's humbling. This is what the Bible says. He humbled himself to, to come in the, in the flesh of a man. So he humbled himself, yes, and my father greater than me. Now I'm asking you, can you or Muhammad say, the one who saw me, he saw God? You mean, I still don't understand. I can't get it. No, okay, no, so let us go back now. You are trying to change the topic, and we, we, we answered you. Here Allah is saying he will take a partner, and the partner can be a woman. How it is possible for God to be a partner with the woman unless he is a human? Yes, from us. He said from us, like from his creation in heaven. My friend, my creation is not, not us. That's that's silly of you with my respect to you. My creation is my creation, is not us. Us is me and my family. If you know, because I am equal to my family, I am one of them. So I can say us because we are one together as a group. But if you say that the creation of Allah is us, that is silly. He's searching Google. This is the keyboard of Google. Yeah, mm. So now, what? How? How? How this is can be? How? How Allah suddenly became women and men and boys and all of this is us. And suddenly Allah became the creation of Allah is us. Allah saying that His creation is us according to you. How that can happen? Yeah. Can you please show me the tafsir then? Okay, guys. He said, show me the tafsir. That's fair. That's fair. Let us see. Let us see the tafsir. That's wonderful. Let us go to this here, no problem. <clears throat> Chapter 21, verse number 17. I hope the website of the Tafsir is open. And you will see Allah saying clearly that if you want to have sex, you want to have sex with the women, the black eyed whore. This is us, or the angels. <laughs> is that right? Yes, it's right. Uh, this crazy website, the the, the kingdom of uh, Joe. No, finally it's working. Hold on. All right, chapter twenty one, verse number seventeen, and this is your interpretation. I have nothing to do with it. We will put it for you in the screen. <clears throat> Here we go. Read it, my friend. This is your choice to have interpretation. Let us see what the interpretation by Muhammadan, by scholar is saying. This is Tafsir al Jalalain, and he is saying, Had we desire to find some diversion, that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourself from among the beautiful eyed huris and the, or the angels. <laughs> How that can be? So us, the family of yeah. Allah is the beautiful eyed Huri. They are not a human being in earth. They are there in heaven. And Allah, he lied to us. He said that those Huris are virgins. But look, he is going to play with them. Or the angels. Allah will sleep with the angels? It doesn't mean so. He said if he was supposed to take a partner. But obviously, Allah doesn't have needs. My friend, my friend, he have needs. He have needs. Who said he don't have needs? Okay. Allah doesn't... Okay, do you want me do you want me to prove to you that Allah have needs? Okay, if I show you from the Quran that Allah have needs, what what then? 
you you will deny that he's Allah no more because when you say he have no needs is that the proof to you that he is God because he have no needs according to you yes God has no needs okay let us see if God he have a needs or not we go <clears throat> Here we go. Your God, not only he have a needs, he is desperate. Chapter, actually, sorry, this is uh, here. Hadith, and then we will go to the Quran after that. Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2749, it says, Muhammad is swear by Allah. Muhammad is swearing by Allah, not me. All right, saying, by him in whose uh, hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. Explain to me why Allah want to sweep us out of existence if we don't commit sin. Yeah, Allah can want us to do something, but need and one has different meaning. Can you speak louder, please? I have difficulty too. What has different? They are different words. What? Say again. Ones are different. Does this show? Does it? Does this show need? Okay, hold on. Why Allah will destroy me if I don't commit sin? Why He need my sin? What is? What is my? What He would do with it? Yeah, this is useless. I already created the angel's name. Is, is there any lie? Did you say this is useless? Did did you, did you say? Did you say this is useless? Does it, does it say that he needs it? Okay, no, you tell me then if you don't need it. Why Allah will destroy us if we don't commit sin? If our sin is not needed, so why why he's angry? Is He should be happy we did not commit sin. Why he will destroy us? He wants us to repent, but does he, does he need us? Does he need he us want us to repent, thank you very much. And look what the hadith is saying. So he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness. So the needs of Allah, he need people who is begging for him. Please, please forgive yeah. us, please. So Allah, Allah is a person who is sick. He's lonely and he want to have some entertainment. So created a human being. And those yeah, are human beings. Listen, my friend, let me finish. And those are human beings. If they did not commit sin, Allah will destroy them. That will make him angry. You are boring, man. I'm going to kill you, all of you. You are boring. You did not commit sin. You don't ask for forgiveness. I'm sick of you. I'm going to create somebody who commits sin and beg for me every day. So Allah is a lonely God. He need people to commit sin and try. Please, Allah, forgive us. So he enjoy. He watched the movie. This woman, she is praying for him, saying, oh, "Forgive me, God, forgive me." This guy, he is praying for me. <laughs> forgive me. He's happy. This is your. So how this God can be God? Yeah, like, it doesn't still say need. There's already a creation that already doesn't sin. What? 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 There are already creations that don't sin. There's already a creation that doesn't sin. Like what? What is the creation doesn't sin? The angels. My friend is the okay. Who said that the angels don't commit sin? Isn't it Harut and, uh, and Marut? Allah, He sent them down to earth and they had sex with the women. Her name is Venus. No, they, they didn't sin. He sent them down. Okay, to okay, okay, but, okay, okay. Let us see if the angels commit sin or not. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam because they accuse Adam falsely in the Quran? And Allah, accu Allah accused the angels to be uh, uh, to be liars. This is the Quran, chapter two, verse number thirty. And remember, when Allah He said to the angels, "Verily, I'm going to place a mankind, you know, in, in the earth, a Khalifa." They said, "Will you place therein somebody who would do mischievement and bloodshed?" So the the, the angels, this is the first sin. First of all, they oppose and they are questioning the decision of God. Angels don't do that. Correct, guys? If God says something is going to be, you don't question God. Are you? Are you going to do that? This, this is a clear sin. This is sin number one. And then Allah, he challenged them. Hold on. Allah, he challenged them in a very funny, stupid story. Sorry, what? Because they already experienced what they had. 
the James Cross is still fun. No problem, but the question in God is it a sin or not for the angels? Questioning God decision by an angel is that a sin, my, my friend? If they want to know. No, no, they, they don't want okay. to know. No, 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 no. This is not a question. You see, they, they, they have they have no right to question. They are saying to him, Are you going to create someone who will do mischievement? Are you? They are questioning how smart his decision is. <laughs> No, my friend, if this is the way, okay, that, let us prove that the way you say it is wrong. Because if we read the verses after, you will see that this is not what happened. And he taught Adam all the names. Allah, he taught Adam all the names of everything. And then he showed them the angels and he said, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Does it say there, if you are truthful, my friend? Did he say to them, if you are truthful? Tell me, excuse me, can you please, can you please put it again? Chapter 2, verse number 31. Did Allah, he says to the angels, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Did he use the word truthful? And in Arabic, yes, it says truthful. صادقين. صادقين. So tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So Allah, he's accusing them that they are liars and the angels accusing Allah of being stupid. So you are saying to me, this just want to know. So why Allah is accusing them that they are not truthful? Because if you say to somebody, tell me the names of those things, if you are truthful, it means they are not truthful. As simple as that. If you are truthful. And what happened? They could not tell him the names of those things, which means obviously they are not truthful. So you say to me, the angels don't commit sin in Islam. That is false. And here we go. The angels, they commit many sin in Islam. In different verse, Allah, he sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't hear you. What? Can you speak louder, please? My friend, the verse is so clear. It says, if you are truthful. Did Allah say to them, if you are truthful? If I say to you, show me the reference if you are truthful. That's mean I'm accusing you of lying. Correct? So. What is the opposite from a truthful? You tell me. I'm saying to you, if you are a truthful, what is the opposite from a truthful? Be honest. Be, you see, there's there, there's more than a thousand people listening, my friend. Don't don't you know? Lying will not will, will make Islam look bad. What is the opposite of the word truthful? Google is a good prophet. Google will help you with the meaning. Okay, no problem. Show me what? What does the, the next verse I mean, what, what are we going back to zero? I'm saying to you, does it say there, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful? Did Allah say to the angels, if you are truthful, what is the opposite of the word truthful? He's saying, if you are truthful. If. What is the opposite of the word truthful? No problem when you say to somebody if you are truthful you are suspecting his honesty correct if you are truthful so Allah is suspecting them telling the truth if you are truthful it's mean if you told the truth so did the angels told the truth. Okay, my friend, we want to give, you know, 
We want to give time for others to call us. Thank you very much for calling us. Obviously, you are in trouble. You have no idea what to say. But anyway, thank you for calling. And, you know, at least he was a polite person. He is not a rude and bad person. Right? At least. We have someone else want to call. Let us see. <coughs> well, this lady, she did not answer. The one you gave me her name to call her. Her name is Marian. No problem. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call us? All right. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. You're live on air. How can I help you? She hung up. Anyway. Do we have any Muhammad would like to call us? Any Muhammad would like to call us? So the title we made, Why Muslims Do Not Understand Their Quran, it's clear. I mean, there's no Muslim can answer anything about this book because this is a book of of, uh, of of Mickey Mouse. Verse from here, verse from there. This guy, he is, you know, he's copying stories from the Jews, trying to make a rabbi music about it. And it come funny because of the rabbi music too, which make it more funny. I mean, how in the world Allah is God? And he is saying to the angels, I will teach Adam the names of all things and tell me the truth. Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. I mean, what does this have to do with the, with, the, with the challenge? To make it simple for you. Imagine somebody, he says to me, uh, he questioning my decision. Are you going to do this? And now I say to him, okay, I will prove to you that you are wrong and you are a liar. I go to my garage. I get a hammer. And I will call my hammer Fufu. This is the name I give it to, to, to my hammer. And then I come back to him. I says, what is the name of my hammer? The guy, he says, Ahmed. I say, no. Fatima. No. Jibril. No. Uh, Muhammad. No. Okay, I give up. And now I, I get him busted. I say, my, the name of my Fatima is Fufu. And this is how Allah, he proved that he is all knowledgeable. Have you ever heard of a joke more than this? I give it the name and I the one who named it. And now because I know the name which I named, that make me God and make them ignorant. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity of this verse? I mean... This verse, alone, this chapter alone, is a story to tell, to laugh. Allah wanted to prove the angels that they are wrong, so he started teaching Adam like he took him to the classroom. He Adam, this is TV, okay? This is TV. That Adam, what this is name? What the name of this one? Remote control. No, Adam, this is the TV. This is the remote control. Okay, Adam, this is a cup, a coffee cup. What is this? A water cup. No, it's a coffee cup. Repeat after me. Coffee cup, what is this? Coffee cup. Okay, good, good, Adam. So now Allah, Allah, Allah He trained Adam. He taught. By the way, Muhammad is taking taking the the verse from the Bible that, that says God He taught Adam all the names, which means He taught him all things. You know, He knows all His knowledge. He give it from God. So Muhammad He took that from the Old Testament. He make a false story about it, and he put it in the Quran that the angels they question the decision of Allah. And Allah, he wanted to prove them wrong. 
So Allah, he said to the Adam, okay, hold on. Adam, follow me, Adam. Let us go to a private room. And he taught Adam all the names. And then he told them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. This is the most hilarious, stupid story ever. And this story alone is enough to make you leave the cult of Islam. And this is why, you see the reason... Uh, by the way, I have uh, uh, I, I I pay all my respect to this person who called us. His name is Uthman. As you see, he was not rude. He was not calling us names. You know, he was a nice gentleman. He's welcome always to call. But we want somebody. He claimed those. Where is, where are those ustads? Where is the ustad? What is the ustad of Indonesia? Where is those who grow beard and they collect donation from the Muslims? Where are they? Hmm. Right? Where are they? <clears throat> After I hang up, the Muslims will go and make videos. Exposing Christian Prince, Christian Prince don't know Arabic, Christian Prince the ignorant, getting Christian Prince busted. Here we go. When we called the guy, his name is Mimi Hijab, he did not dare even to speak to me. <laughs> mute him, mute him, <laughs> mute him. What happened to you? Take it easy, man. Take some medicine. This guy, he was in a hyper mood because he's very nervous. <laughs> Hang up on him. <laughs> and and when he when I talk, did you say that? You don't. They don't dare. They are scared if I talk. This is why they don't dare to debate me. Until now, by the way, Mimi Hijab, I am challenging you if you dare. Actually, I'm mentioning your name. You don't even deserve the honor to be mentioned by someone like me. You have no knowledge of Islam. The, this fake man, he go each time, he posts something, he say, tomorrow I will do this. A Muslim, he, will, he cannot do that. A Muslim have to say, inshallah. A Muslim, he have to say, inshallah. Otherwise, he will get the curse of Allah. He's a false Muslim. And this is why it was embarrassing when I asked him, why you don't say inshallah each time you go? Even when he go in his show, he did not say inshallah today, we will let the debate Christian Prince. He don't say inshallah. <laughs> but from now on, he will start saying it after I got him busted. Anyway, do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Any Muhammadan would like to call us. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, uh, Instagram because always I announce in Instagram before I go live on air. Uh, so you can, you know, you can be alarmed if you have, if you are a user of, of Instagram. Uh, and in minds.com. And we have another uh, page. I would like people to subscribe to it. It's called the Quality of Life M27, which is not, is not nothing to do about Islam. We speak about different topic. You feel free to join us. And actually, in two days from now, we, we will be in that channel almost every day in the Christmas time. Uh, just and we'll we will take calls only from Christians, you know, because usually only I take calls from Muslims in this channel. That channel, Christians are welcome to call me, and we will be just enjoying our time about the Christmas and talk about different topics. I have a severe question from a Muslim. Can I call you? Max. Well, well Max, as long as there's no Muslim, okay, call me, no problem. <clears throat> and as long as it's severe, <laughs> it's a severe question. <coughs> Why don't ask the Muslim to call me, my friend? Why the Muslim who have a severe question don't call us and ask us the severe question so he can get the severe answer? Hmm? And why you don't post that uh, the question in the in the chat? I like severe questions. This is why I live in a severe war. You know, weather outside is minus twelve. <clears throat> Yesterday I could not open the windows. You believe it? 
I could not open the windows. The, 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 the whole thing is frozen. The window is frozen. I could not even move it. I stopped because I might break it. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, this is the link. The admin, she is posting the link for you guys. You can subscribe to that channel so you can join us. Maybe we'll start maybe tomorrow or the day after. We will start doing broadcast in that channel. And you can watch the videos there. We have about many topics. Maybe they are useful for your benefit. Any Muhammadan? Uh, Maria123, uh, this is the woman, she we, she called us and she hang up, I blocked her. And she had many babies around, so I did not. I gave her a chance one, that's it. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan would like to call us? Okay. We have somebody who was trying to call, we missed the call. Well, I did block her name, you know, I mean, too late now. I think this is the same guy is calling me again. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Okay, the question we received from Mr. Max is saying, Muhammad respect uh, women and gave them honor and he saved many girl child from being burnt. Burnt? <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> if Muhammad is respecting women, so why the Quran saying, if they disobey you, beat them? Is that in the Quran? Chapter 4, verse number 34, it says, Those who did disobedience to you, and look here between translation, the Muslim, they put for you because this is ugly and disgusting. They lie in the translation. They say, lightly if it's useful. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a God saying lightly if it's useful where we can find that in the verse where where we can find it? here we go this is the verse where it says lightly and where it says if it's useful where is lightly where is useful where is first where is second what this is garbage is about so 
the prophet of Allah he respect and if we change the translation look to what will happen I mean the, it's a new Quran every Muslim he have a new Quran because it's a new Quran translation brother this is a different translation Muhammad Bektal look what he's saying and those from those who you fear rebellion admonish them and banish them in the bed apart and scourge them where is beating them lightly is gone and where if it's useful is gone secondly let us say for the sake of argument it was lightly how light it can be more than like a spit do you accept somebody to spit in you how light is that this is beating somebody beating you by the drop of water from his mouth how lightly it can be it's very insulting right and it says here, beat them, then if they obey you, seek not a way against them. So what the purpose of this violence is to force them physically, so it cannot be lightly. The purpose of this beating is to force the women to obey you by scourging her. So the Prophet of Allah, he respect women, I can tell. This is why Muhammad, he said that women are half a brain. Uh, and here he's asking me about the bill, the law, the bill law in India. Yeah, you know there is an India. <clears throat> uh, let us just open the news a little bit in India, just to cover this topic fast. <clears throat> All right, all of us, we heard in India that the Muslims, they are protesting against a law which is made by the Indian. And that law is not really excluding the Muslim from getting citizenship, that's not true. This is about immigrants who they are illegal in India. The Muslims who they are Indian, they get citizenship and they are in Indian and they practice their right and they vote and everything. This is about the immigrants. Hold on. You see, I asked the Muslim to be fair. If this is unfair, why you Muslim don't give the Hindus a citizenship? Hindu, name for me one Hindu. He got citizenship in Saudi Arabia after working 20, 30, 40 years. He's immigrant. Why it's okay for you to forbid the Hindus? Can you name for me one Hindu he got citizenship in Iraq? In Syria? In Egypt? In Saudi Arabia <laughs> so why it's okay for you not to give the Hindus a citizenship but it's not okay for them not to give the immigrant Muslim a citizenship just you know to be fair so the story is very simple the Hindus the Muslim they treat them unjustly and the Muslim mindset is we can treat you unjustly but you cannot be unjust to us do you understand in Saudi Arabia if you are a Hindu a Buddha an atheist it doesn't matter who you are you cannot even die there you can die in the floor but then they will ship you in the airplane right away because there's not even a single graveyard for Hindus why because they're not allowed to die in Saudi Arabia so in Saudi Arabia, not only they cannot have citizenship, they cannot have even residency for a long time, like a green card in USA. In USA, if you stay for five years, you apply for a green card and you became a citizen. In Saudi Arabia, there's poor, poor, poor people from those countries, from Philippines, from Bangladesh, from uh, India. Just because they are not Muslims, they will never, ever get citizenship. So this, this wild cult, he speak about justice, but they don't want to practice justice. If we ask those Indian who they are in India and they are Muslims, do you support giving citizenship for, Mus for Hindus in Saudi Arabia? They will say, no, Allah Akbar, no way, brother, Allah Akbar. <laughs> you know what I mean? So here we see the hypocrisy. 
So if the Hindus, they treat you as you treat them, they are bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't treat us like we treat you. Not only that, actually, in, in Saudi Arabia, there is a sign. It says, O oh, Muslims only. There are cities, even if you are like legally working there, as I said, they want to give you citizenship. But if you miss the exit and you go in the in the way to Mecca, they will execute you. Because the Quran is a book of fascism. The Quran says that none Muslims are filthy, dirty, no gozun. وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجِسٌ Those who they are mushrikeen, which means they worship other than Allah, they are filthy and clean. Therefore, they are. There is no gozun. I saw a news agency speaking about this. They say there's nothing. This is this is this is a lie. This is a lie. It is. This is was in South Africa. Yeah, it was in South Africa. Very ugly, very disgusting. But this has exist in Islam since fourteen hundred years ago, and until now. There is a signs all over the highway in Saudi Arabia. It says there is roads for Muslims, there are roads for non-Muslims. You can go right now and search in Prophet Google, peace upon him, for search for Muslim only. What you will see? Look what you will see. Signs say is Muslim only. Have do you believe it? What kind of belief makes signs say is Muslims only? Hmm? Fascist. Imagine if we have a sign says, this is a road for the Christian, this is a road for the Muslims, this is a road for the Hindus. This is from the fascism of Islam because they believe and the Quran be taught them that non-Muslims are dirty, filthy dirty, disgusting dirty. So they are not allowed, as you see, to walk in the same road with the Muslims. And yet they complain about the Hindus. And not only that, Muhammad, he made it clear. <clears throat> and he said that Muslims or Muhammadan are the best of mankind. And what the best man of mankind, what is their duty? Watch carefully. The duty of the Muhammadan is to bring the Hindus and the Christians and the Jews and the Buddhas and the atheists and you name it. And they put a chain around their necks. Is that a Christian prince? Maybe Christian prince is teaching hate now. You see, the second you read what the, what the Prophet Muhammad said, they said, you, you are teaching hate. You read for them, the Prophet said, suckle him. A woman, adult woman, she will suckle an adult man. They will say, Muhammad, the Christian, the Christian prince, is a, a, a sexual predator. I'm just reading what your Prophet said. The verse saying, the verse saying, this is a chapter 3, verse number you know, 110. You see it? Allah saying, you are the best of the people ever raised up for between two brackets, the benefit, look at the benefit of, of mankind. Chapter 3, verse 110. The best for mankind are those who bring them with a chain round their necks till they embrace Islam. Do you see it? So this is the agenda of this cult. Christian prince, he exposed Islam, he is a, he is a bad person. Did you, did you say that? Did you say that? And he opened his mouth like, I, did you say that? Yes, I, I was reading your prophet's stupid words, you idiot. Suckle him. Did you say that? And now, imagine if a Christian prince is teaching people who listen to him that you are the best of mankind ever. We are the higher. We are the highest and everything else. Record me, record me, because later they will duct tape and they make a video. Hmm? I'm reading your prophet. 
You are the best mankind ever. The Quran, chapter 3, 110. And what is the duty of a Muslim? To bring them with the chain around their necks. Why? They are dogs. Yes, in Islam, the Quran says that non-Muslims are kal an'am. Kal an'am. They are the same as animals. Actually, there's a video by a guy, his name, I think, uh, Dawa something. He was saying he, he have a bunch of cows be, be, be behind him. He said, do you see those monk, those uh, cows are better than the kuffar? Why, brother, why? Because they are used for the kuffar or not. The Quran says that. Non-Muslims are animals. This is why I believe strongly that Islam is a fascist cult. Do you think they can listen to you? Do you think they have hearing like you? Do you think they have eyes like you? No, they are the same as animals. Quran chapter 25 verse number 44. So they are saying that the Hindus are fascist, the Hindus are bad, the Hindus are ugly. <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? <clears throat> is that a true sir I don't know what are you saying you mean what I said well it's in the front of you on the screen why are you asking me it's in the front of you everything I say you see we don't do what the Muslim do and not only that we don't explain things as they explain like I can say there is a verse as an example for me I have I can tell that this is a verse is mistakenly made it when Muhammad he was trying to be a Christian as an example when he said that those who worship their monk and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah it says that even literally but the Muslim, they have different explanation for it. They say, oh, no, it just doesn't say that. It says, uh, you know, here, uh, uh, you know, uh, you can put the, the name of Jesus after Allah. This is normal. This is not true. But when we debate Muslims, we debate them by what they believe, and we show them what their explanation for those verses. And the Quran, not only it's a fascist, the Quran is a book teaching its followers to practice genocide and to practice hate. And that's why I made a video just yesterday saying love the Muslims. Because if we hate them the same as they, they follow Allah, then Allah is successful. He is the devil and he wants us to hate each other. He will be very successful because now the Christians hate the Muslims, the Muslims hate the Christians, they hate the Hindus. So we spread hate all over and then everybody is killing everybody. This is what exactly the devil Muhammad he want. This is why I said we should not hate them. Otherwise we will be involved in the same crime Muhammad he practice every day. All right. my friend the one who asked me about India you can cut this part of me speaking about India make a video of it and post it around <clears throat> I do my part do your part if this is important for me for you so do we have any Muslim yeah for us as a Christian we should always fight hate in all mean otherwise we will be participating in the plan of Muhammad to destroy this earth 
if we and Muslims and Hindus and you know because there is a lot of religion and each one he hate the other I mean this the earth is gone the earth became the the land of the devil so we as a Christians are the opposite of this filthy teaching we don't want to put a chain around the neck of a Muslim we want to put a flower around his neck we want to put a crown in his head we want to treat him nicely we want to respect him as a human we don't want to humiliate a Muslim and by doing that we are doing the right behavior as God he taught us to do now there's some they are they are aggressive some they are rude some I mean okay you are a human being you get angry sometime I understand but this is not your teaching now I mean this is not God teaching this is you reacting for somebody making you angry but the correct way to do it is to be loving and loving does not mean when you see a Muslim or somebody in the street you give him a hug this is fake love loving is sharing the truth with them and the truth will set them free as we are doing here this is all is an act of love we are not against the Muslims we are against the teaching of hate in Islam right <clears throat> I know, my friend. I know that the 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 the, the Indian they paid eighty million Hindus being killed, eighty millions by the attack of the Mujahideen. I mean, why nobody talk about it? Eighty millions, not eight. Eighty millions. Those poor Hindu they suffer a lot. And until now, they are under the threat. You know, Pakistan is not the land of anyone. This is the land of India. There's nothing it's called Pakistan. There's nothing it's called Bangladesh. Islam goes, conquer, divide, and steal your land. This is the land of the Hindu. Do we have any Mohammedan? So the hypocrisy is amazing. They can do to you things, but you cannot do it to them. Is that how a Christian people talk? They say to me, is that how, what, what I did, what I did, what I did. The second you read their Quran, they say you are teaching hate. The second you read your Quran, they say they are teaching faith. The, the second you read what their prophets say to them, you are, is, you are sexual predator. This is the truth. Anyway, again, we as a Christians, we share love with everybody and we love the Muslims and we will never teach hate against them and we encourage people to treat them nicely. Now, I'm not saying to you, if you see somebody from ISIS, he have a knife in the street, you treat him nicely. No, this is not what I'm saying. <laughs> that that one, the terrorist, will send him a free shipping and hand it into Allah. Hmm? We will send him free shipping. That is a terrorist. I'm talking about a normal average person he you know he, is, he just want to live I mean Muslims at the end of the day they are people like us they have family they are alive you know I mean they, they need to live they are victims of the lies of Muhammad so this is why Jesus he said I came to the sick this is the doctor he came to the sick not that the healthy so my friend those people they need your help not your anger and not your cursing and not your not not your not violence never do violence with them otherwise you would be like Muhammad so you need you need to treat them as people need help and actually they need help can you find one Islamic country is living in peace they are killing each other Imarat is bombing Yemen 
Emirate is bombing Libya. Libya is bombing Libya. Syria is bombing Syria. Iraq is bombing Iraq. Turkey is bombing the Kurdish. I mean, you name it. And there is one reason for all of this, Islam. And the funny, all those who they are bombing each other, they say Allahu Akbar. All of them, they share one name, Allahu Akbar. <clears throat> so we will not do what they do. And we will share our love, not our hatred, because we have enough hatred in this earth. We have enough of this madness. Thank you guys for being here. As you see, no Muslim is calling us. We got only one Mohammedan he called, the rest are like, they retreat and they decide to take a hike. And I understand, if I am you, I will take a hike too. I mean, who can defend this cult? Nobody. Nobody. And as they say, Allah knows best. <laughs> the only escape from answers which nobody can answer is to say Allah knows best. <laughs> Allah knows best what? That the sun set in the murky water and the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. And the earth have two west and two east. Two west and two east? Yeah, brother. Allah knows best. In fact, no. We Christians, we know best. Even the Quran says to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what been revealed to you, Ask the Christians and the Jews. Do you believe it? Chapter 10, verse number 94. So if Muhammad, the founder of the cult of Islam, he, he should come and ask Christian prince to learn what about the rest. And if you though Muhammad have a doubt concerning what was revealed into thee, then question those who read the scriptures before thee. This is the Quran. You Muslims, you have an obligation, you know, you, 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 you have a must to do according to the Quran. You have to come to us and ask us. And this is what happened to your prophet. And by the way, why Muhammad he have a doubt about what Allah is revealing to him because he's mentally ill. I mean, this guy, what's wrong with this guy? He's not sure he's a prophet or not. So anyway, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. And, you know, I wish you a great time. Christmas is coming. Be loving. Be faithful. Uh, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you are a person who have issue with your wife, please to, you know, try to fix it. If you have an issue with your husband, you know, try to fix it. Because losing your family is a, is a priceless lose. Uh, if you have children, they need more extra time from you. Share your time with them. You know, life, life is a continue of a struggle, but struggle can be something good, something bring happiness. It's not necessarily that struggle is something bad. It's not. Answer of your confusion, 1094. Oh, truth seeker, guys, truth seeker. He gave me an answer. Look at the answer. Answer for of your confusion is 1094. 1094 is in the front of you on the screen. What answer from you? This is answer to you. You are the one who's confused. Who is the one who have adopted in, in the in the in the revelation? <laughs> I mean, guys, look at this. This is how Mr. Abbas, the guy who always is driving, he cannot call me because he's driving, brother. He is saying. Answer of your confusion of 1094 in the verse before it. Okay, here we go. In the verse before it, well, the verse before it says that Allah, He gave the Jews the knowledge. And what your prophet have to do with the Jews? Do you see it? And we provide them with good things. 
And if they're different, if they have a different, what different? All the Jews agree in all, everything. And then Muhammad, he said, Allah, he said to Muhammad, and if you have a doubt, go and ask them. So if those people, they are not clear with the answers. So how Muhammad, he been asked to go and ask those who they are not clear with the answers. Read the verse before it. The verse before it is proven to us that Allah is God, is, is false God. Why? Because here, what does this have to do with the verse before it? What this verse here, Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what will reveal to, to you, go and ask the Jews. Have to do with this. Nothing. So what you are confirming to us that go and ask the Jews about what happened to Moses if you don't believe in what I am saying to you, Muhammad. So that's mean Muhammad, he don't believe. And he needed the Jews to confirm to him. Additional proof that the one who made the Quran is an idiot. And not only that, Allah saying to Muhammad, and don't be one of those who, uh, you know, who consider the Quran as a book of lies. Allah saying that to Muhammad? How that can be? Why Allah accusing Muhammad, he's warning him not to be one of those who accuse the Quran to, book, to be the book of lies. Do you see it? This is the Quran in front of you. <clears throat> right? There is nothing in this book is not stupid. Ask the Jews of it true. Muhammad ever have a dub? Never have a dub? Okay, guys. I will show you what Mr. Truthy said, and and here I tell you how the Muslims they help us to expose Muhammad. Read carefully, please, what he said. This is what he said, not me. Verse ninety-three says, "We settled him in the land." That is what anyone with doubt need to ask. Jews, if it is true, Muhammad never have a doubt. Was the for the kuffar? Okay, let us see if this is true or not. When the Quran says, did he say if the Jews have adopt or he says if you Muhammad have adopt? Read it carefully. He's not speaking to the Jews. He's speaking to Muhammad. And here it's using individual name. Anyone who speaks Arabic, it says, فَإِن كُنْتَ not كُنْتُمْ كُنْتَ is for individual, singular name. Speaking to who? And you're even your Islamic translation adding the word Muhammad after if you have a dot they put it Muhammad and all interpretation they agree it is about Muhammad if you have a dot as the Christians and the Jews why need to ask them I thought the Christians and the Jews they are kuffar they are wrong so how you can ask them And not only that, he's saying to him, and don't be with the losers, Muhammad, don't be. Don't be one of those who deny and accuse the Quran to be the book of life. You see the translation here is stupid. It says, and don't be one of those who deny the revelation. They did not, it doesn't say that. It says, the one the one who accused the ayat of Allah, the verses of Allah to be a verses of lying. كذبوا. Not only deny, because you can deny, Still, you are not really saying truly. Uh, the word is different here. It says kathabu, which means they accuse Muhammad to be, or to accuse Allah to be a false god, or to accuse the Quran to be the book of Allah, the false god. Right? And here we see in front of you, Muhammad been asked by his God not to be one of the losers. And why Muhammad will be one of the losers? What happened exactly? And why Allah is worried about Muhammad that he might be turned to be a loser. It's in the front of you. Hmm. 
<coughs> could you tell Taqiyya watch my friend you need to show to share that the channel with us about Taqiyya watch to be sure that it is correct one because some people they copy others and they make false uh, YouTube of others we need to confirm the channel you are talking about do we have any Muhammadan have anything to say this is how Allah speak it appear that the Prophet was addressed but in reality <laughs> in reality <laughs> guys Allah is the same as the mother-in-law speaking to her son-in-law so the mother-in-law she said to her daughter don't be stupid but she meant her son-in-law <laughs> And you are so funny. So Allah is speaking to Muhammad, but he meant the Jews. I guess, do you see that? Allah, he spoke to Muhammad, but he did not mean Muhammad. He meant the Jews. So if Allah said the Christians, he meant the, he mean the Hindus. If Allah, he said the Hindus, he meant the Jews. If he said the Jews, he meant the atheists. I mean, do you see that how this is why I said why the Muslim can't understand the Quran? Because this book is stupid. They are confirming everything we say. It's a stupid book. As simple as that. And this is this this poor guy is trying to come with interpretation, so he starts saying things which is funny and dummy. Actually, there's verses in the Quran <coughs> which is making the Quran super stupid. Let me show you. This is the connection with this verse. This is why we are going to post it. Let me let me find this verse first. Oh boy. <clears throat> hmm. Here, Musa is a praying to Allah. To make the Pharaoh poor. <laughs> you know, I will just I will show you just something hilarious. If we ask Abbas, who is in the chat now, Abbas, was the fair was Musa sent to the Jews or he was sent to the Pharaoh as a prophet? Guys, how many times we heard Muslims saying that Musa was sent the prophet to the Jews? Isa was sent as a prophet to the Jews. Only Prophet Muhammad was sent to all mankind. Well, isn't it the Quran saying that Allah He sent Pharaoh to the Egyptian? Sorry, He sent Musa to the Pharaoh and asked him to convert, which is very stupid because you cannot convert to be a Jew. Chapter 7, verse 103, it says, Allah, he sent Musa into Pharaoh, and he asked him to convert, but he did not accept. And Musa, he said to him, Hey, Pharaoh, by the way, the Quran, making a stupid mistake here by saying Pharaoh. What Pharaoh? Pharaoh is not the name of the king. Who is, the, who is this? Pharaoh is a title. Who is the king? There's many Pharaoh. But because Muhammad, he thought Pharaoh is his name, he put the word Pharaoh. The same as Azar, the father of, of, of Abraham. O Pharaoh, I am a messenger from the Lord. And he mentioned the genie too, you know. 
So how Moses are sent only to the Jews, but Moses he was sent to the Pharaoh according to the Quran. Stupidity. Any Muhammadan? All right, I think it's time to go. Guys, don't forget to download the videos. And don't forget in Christmas time to pray for the Muslims. Pray for them, they will be healthy. Pray for them, they will be fine. Pray for them, they will be safe. Because this cult, and you see, when you pray for the Muslims to be fine and not angry, that means we are able to defeat the devil. So he will leave them alone. A Muslim person he is under the influence of the cult of Muhammad. He is always angry. We want him to be happy. We want all Muslims to live their life and enjoy it. And I say to the Muslims, if you are really following a true religion, a true belief, it's coming from a true God, well then why you don't believe that human are equal? Why you don't believe somebody is a Hindu is equal to you? Why you don't believe that we are all a human and we treat each other equally? No, we cannot treat each other according to Muhammad. And this is why you are suffering, my friend. You are, the Bible says, the one who lived by the sword, by the sword will die. By the sword will die. And look at the ethic of Muhammad. Imagine if India, they made a law, it says, if you see a Muslim in the street, force him to walk in the sewage. This is what Muhammad said. And this is what he taught his people to do. So those poor Christians and Hindus who live in Pakistan, they are humiliated. But Muslims in India, they are respected. Actually, India used to have a president. He is a Muslim just two years ago. Do you believe it? The Hindus, they voted and they accepted a Muslim president to India, which when we are going to have a Hindu president in Pakistan, never, don't even try. Am I lying? Am I lying that the Hindus they voted for a Muslim president to be a president for all of India? Yes, they did. Anyone remind me his name? Anyone remember what his name was? It's amazing. Abdul Kalama, his name? I'm not sure, I forgot his name. But anyway, he is, a, 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 you can go and search it in Google, you know, for me, uh, just how I learned about it, that the Hindus, they choose a, a, the Muslim president. And he was a Muslim president for, I don't know, five, four years, five years, I'm not sure. Yeah, here we go. They are giving us uh, those who they are from India. They knew. You see, for us, for me, as a Middle Eastern, I am really disconnected with India. I don't know nothing. I don't know much about even, uh, you know. But I, I know, I know how the Hindu are treated. Yeah. Well, somebody is saying this is this is the man. Here we go. We find him in Prophet Wakabitia. This is the man who became a president of India, and he's a Muslim. His name even is Abdul. Even his name is Abdul. I mean, what do you want more? His name is Abdul Kalam. Abdul Kalam, that's mean the, the slave of talking. They don't know what they mean. I mean, the, the, those poor Muslims, they give themselves names. They don't know what they mean. Sometimes the names turn funny. The slave of, of talking, that's funny. Okay. 
whatever you wish. Actually, there is a there is an ambassador. He was hired by the government of Pakistan uh, to be an ambassador in Saudi Arabia. When the papers sent to Saudi Arabia, the Saudi they uh, uh, they rejected the ambassador. Why? Because his name is bad. His name is big private part in Arabic. He was rejected because this is what his name means. So what what, what they will say in TV? They will say that the ambassador of Saudi Arabia is shaking hands with the guy who is the big uh, beep. <laughs> so they are blindly enslaved by the Arab and they are using Arabic names which they don't know even what they mean and they end in trouble because of those Arabic names. Can you believe it? Anyway, enough comedy, time to go. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you and please love the Muslims. Pray for them that they will see the truth and the truth will set them free and be be holy as, as your father. Be good as our Lord. Be a, a, a person of love, not of hate. And here we are sharing our love with the Muslims because when we show them that Islam is a cult, we are trying to save them from the cult of Islam. There's one of two ways, my friend, for me as a believer. There's a way we'll go to hell. There's a way we'll go to heaven. And because we love the Muslims, we want them to go with us to heaven, to the kingdom of God, to share the, the love of our Father. You see, even we Christian, when we pray, we say, Our Father. You, as a Muslim, you believe that you are a slave. Our God is so good to the point he allow us to call him Father. You believe it? I mean, who am I in the front of the Lord who created me? I'm no one. Yet this Lord, even his, his majesty, he's amazing. He is so powerful. He says, don't, hold on. You can call me God, no problem. But call me Father. This is my favorite word. So when you pray, say this. Our Father out of heaven. How beautiful. We are slaves of God. If you want. We are nothing in the front of the eyes of God. If you want. But he want us to be his children. And actually the Quran. Because it's a stupid book. He said clearly that the Christian and the Jews believe. That they are the children of God. And they, the, the one be loved by God. Muhammad, he could not understand how that can be. So he said, well, if you are the children of God, and here he used the term Allah in chapter 5, verse 18, then why he is punishing you for your sin? Which is very funny, stupid logic. Because... We call him our father, forgive us the same as we forgive. So we because we are we because we are sinners, we need his help. That's why he said, I came to the sick, not to the healthy. So he came to us because he we are sick, not because we are healthy. So Muhammad he could not handle it. How the Jews and how the Christians they say they are the sons of God, children of God, not slaves and because you don't you you don't have the quality inside you Muhammad this is why you think that this is stupid children of God does not mean that we are not sinners children of God does not mean that we are above mankind we are not a human it doesn't mean that but the fool 
he speak foolishness. And the wise, he follow the wise Lord. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you and see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Take care.